So in this short tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you as to how to calculate the EC50 value or the potency of an agonist in graph pad prism. So before we jump into the prism file, let me introduce you to my raw data first. So here on the top, I have stimulated my cells with a stimulant drug at a single concentration of minus 5 molar or it is 10 raised to the power minus 5 molar basically it's the log concentration and I have three values arranged in a triplicate so underneath that I have values for my agonist or inhibitor drug across a range of different concentrations starting from minus 15 molar or 10 raised to the power minus 15 molar all the way up to my highest concentration which is minus 5 molar or 10 raised to the power minus 5 molar and as you can see against each concentration there is a data and triplicate so again my highest concentration as I said is 10 raised to the power minus 5 molar and we also call it 10 micromolar my lowest concentration is 10 raised to the power minus 15 molar which is here and you know that we also call it 1 femtomolar so let's copy all this data and paste it into a prism file and let's see how our analysis looks like so this is how your prism file looks like when you open it for the first time so we are basically interested to plot our values from the Excel sheet and draw a concentration response curve which will be a sigmoid curve and it will let us calculate the EC50 or the potency of our agonist so as you can see in the left handle we have a choice of different graph types now in order to draw a concentration response curve you need to choose the XY plot from the given choices now just leave this X values bit for now this is for our Y values so since our data is in triplicate so let's check this box let's check this circle rather and since we have a triplicate so it is okay if for example we had a duplicate so you will reduce this to 2 so let's make it 3 and then press create there you go so this is our X column where we shall plot our X values or concentrations from the Excel sheet then for Y axis we have group A group B and so on as we have only one agonist so we shall put our values in group A only if we had multiple agonists for example we could make use of the remaining columns so let me copy my data for the X values or concentration values from the Excel sheet so let's copy our X values from the Excel sheet select all these log concentrations let's copy and open the prism file right click paste paste data yeah so our X values are arranged in the X column and now let's go back to the Excel sheet copy all these concentrations the values or the response copy go back to prism right click paste paste data yes so against each concentration you have data arranged 
in triplicate and that will be plotted on the y-axis so this will be our response on the y-axis and these will be our concentrations on the x-axis and as I mentioned if we had more agonists we can plot our data here and get multiple curves now that I have plotted my y values for the agonist let's go back into the Excel sheet and copy values of our stimulant compound which is here so select copy go back to prism and let me paste these values here yeah so now I have put all my data here on the prism sheet so these are my x values or the concentration values the log concentrations these are my responses from the agonist all the way down to here and these three values are my stimulant drug for the stimulant drug basically so yeah let's go further next we are gonna transform our y values into percent values because we are interested in a percent response or percent inhibition of our compound so let's convert or transform these values into percent values for that click analyze here you can see it says transform and normalize so go to normalize hit OK here you can see it says sub columns average the sub columns yeah how is 0% defined so smallest mean in each data set yes how is 100% defined so largest mean in each data set and percent results as percentages so we are okay so let's press okay 